Pew, everybody. Okay, here's a quick one. Let's say I uh, built something and I want to do do the physics simulation of something and I do it and you know they, they sometimes can take a little bit of time. I'm just gonna pause here and wait for that simulation to be finished. Okay, so now that it's nearly finished uh, and you think to yourself cool it's looking perfect and you're happy with the simulation and everything and then you think to yourself Oh no, I forgot to put the hair. And you go and you put hair on it. Um, let's just take some, some like, some like, uh, hair. Hair. And let's just take something like this. And you put like, uh, hair on your character. And then you think, oh man, I've got to re-simulate everything again. But you're happy with the dress. And as soon as I hit simulation again, it simulates, but it'll re-simulate everything. Now, a nice little thing that you can do is you can click on the dress, something that's already simulated. You can go to all up here in the parameters and then you can do things. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here, simulations object type. You can put this to static surface. Okay. Once you put that to static surface, then on the dress, then you can re-simulate and it's not going to touch the simulation of the dress. As you can see, the dress is exactly like it is and all it's doing is simulating the hair so an easy method of something if you want to simulate one thing at a time or whatnot you can simulate that that part and you can turn it onto a static surface static surface means there's no more dynamics it's not gonna it's not gonna uh, have any more physics attached to it that means it's not gonna run any physics simulations when you uh, apply it static mesh means it's static it doesn't move anymore it's a static mesh. So, uh, and as you can see here, the dress stays exactly as it is. And let's wait a little bit longer. I push the pausings. Okay, so I'm going to turn it back on Ings uh, just before it finishes. And the hair took like nearly four minutes. Okay, so that's a long time. But the nice thing is I didn't have to redo the dress. And once this is finished, any time now, any time, Excuse me in Deutsch, ich lerne Deutsch, ich meine, das ist ganz schwierig, so, ach so, ach so, wunderschön. So, uh, the one thing here, like if I have the dress, you can see I've put it on, uh, once again, also if I take the hair, if I take the blowout hair, and I say, and I'm happy with it, and I change it to static mesh, I've got nothing physics now, so if I try and simulate something, it'll say to me, no, you've got nothing that, that's running physics because I've turned them both into static meshes. So once you're happy with something, turn it into a static mesh. The other thing, if you, if you click on something and you go down to the, the physics, is you'll see visible in simulation. And you can leave that on because that still means even though it's not running the physics, it's still uh, an object that'll interact with other things that are physics so the hair will still interact with the dress if you leave visible in simulation on this is why if you have things that blow up or something you can click on that part and you can click on that part and you can say visible in simulation no so it won't interact with that part anymore which means that you can you can start honing down what explodes if something explodes you can see why it explodes it's often because a mesh interacts with another mesh or something and then you start getting explosions uh, so over here, you know, if that was exploding, I would click on the hand and I'd say not visible in simulation. And that will more than often uh, sort a lot of things out. So there we go. That's a very quick way of uh, uh, not blowing up simulations. Okay. Uh, I hope that helps and see you in the next.